This is the Deco BE95, and I'm going to test it using the internet speed test and local speed test. And I want to show you guys how fast it is, even over wireless backhaul. So, this being a mesh system, it's designed to increase Wi Fi coverage throughout your home and increase the Wi Fi speed. So, if you're going to one corner of your house, you're really not getting a good signal or things are lagging, a mesh system is designed to essentially fix that. So, this came as a two pack. It also comes as a three pack, but I got the two pack. Now, the other one is actually hooked up to my ONT, which is basically like a modem. So the other one is acting as a router. This one is acting as an extender or an access point. And you can see it's just hooked up to power and the ethernet cord is just hooked up to my Mac mini. Now my Mac mini has a 10 gig card and my internet speeds are five gigabits upload and download. So that's all the information and I'm going to do some speed test and I'm gonna show you guys the differences even though this is on wireless backhaul, how fast it is just because I have an ethernet connected to it. And I'll do another speed test where I unplug this ethernet and just to show you guys how big of a difference it is and why connecting it via ethernet, if possible, is usually a good thing. So uh, this was the last test that I ran. Let me just close this and then reopen it just so it connects to the best server. And so keep in mind, again, this deco is wirelessly talking to the main deco. I mean, look at these speeds. This is utterly ridiculous. This is as fast as my internet can go, and it's actually reaching those speeds. Uh, for the download section, the upload section, it is probably gonna struggle a bit more, um, but still very crazy that it got to those speeds. Again, I can do another speed test. Um, the fact that this is on wireless backhaul, it's just wirelessly talking to the other router, it's just insane. And again, so, come on, come on Frontier, you know you could do better than that. Um, so the thing with the speed test also, um, which is why I'm going to do a local speed test, because those are the best tests, is that sometimes when the when the server gets busy, it doesn't get quite as good. So this time when I connected, it connected to a different server. So let's see what this gets. So again, this one is also reaching five. So I guess Frontier got busy on that time. Um, and then we're back to this one. So again, as you can see, it has no issue getting to the five gig. Uh, but again, the upload with backstage, not that great. So let's do it, let's quit this and run it again. And it's back to Frontier, so Frontier should give us some really good, at least download speeds. So again, getting to the consistent five gigs of download. And I mean, I ran a number of tests. Uh, typically, most of the time it got over four. Um, and then the uploads were between 25, 2600, up to like the highest I saw was 4400. But it really just depends on the server you're connecting to. And that's why I don't like um, the internet speed test as much because if the server gets busy, now I'm connected to a different server. If the server gets busy, it's not going to be as fast. But you could tell for the most part, it is able to reach the five gigs uh, connecting to various servers. And then, okay, see this server, the upload speed is not great. Uh, and, and that's not because that the deco can't go that fast. It's because the server can't handle those speeds. So it, so this is the main reason why I really like open speed test server. So I have another computer and this was the speed test that I got last time, um, a few minutes ago. And so I have another computer hooked up in the other room that also has a 10 gig card in there. And now I'm bypassing the internet. So, I, so I'm no longer relying on a speed test server. Uh, I, I'm not relying on my internet speeds. This is just a full, it's wirelessly literally going through this uh, mesh system, goes to the router, and then that router is hooked up to a switch which then connects to my desktop. And this is why I really like doing the, uh, the local speed test because it truly shows you how fast it is. So it is, obscenely fast, insanely fast, and keep in mind, this is on wireless backhaul. Now here's the crazy thing, uh, and my Wi-Fi is off right now, so what I'm gonna do now, is you guys saw those crazy speeds, I'm actually going to unplug this Mac, 
and I'm, this Mac uh, has supports Wi-Fi 6C, so I'm gonna connect via Wi-Fi to this wireless backhaul node, and I'll show you guys the difference. Now, one of the questions I get asked that's pretty common, uh, so let me, let me enable my Wi-Fi, um, and then, okay, connected to Earth 6G, which is good, that's what I wanna connect to. I'm gonna reload this. Now, this is gonna be way slower. Um, so one of so one of the questions that I get asked, I mean this this is still very good speeds. The fact that my Mac Mini is wirelessly talking to that Deco, and that Deco is wirelessly talking to the other one, which then goes through some wires to my computer, uh, even through another switch. Um, but but the question is like, okay, should I get a Wi-Fi 7 mesh system if I don't have any Wi-Fi 7 devices, or let's just say I only have one Wi-Fi 7 device? And really, the thing is that. Um, it depends on you. It depends on your internet speeds. Um, and we'll, we'll just do another internet speed test. Uh, Frontier is typically pretty good. So that's actually my internet service provider. So uh, typically they're pretty strong around this neighborhood. So I, I usually get better speeds with them. Um, but, but the bit, so how do I say this? Okay, so if you have if you're planning on using wireless backhaul, getting a Wi-Fi 7 mesh system may just be worth it for you. Uh, and the main reason being that even though, even if you don't have any Wi-Fi 7 devices connecting to it, um, this, because it uses the MLO to connect to the other one, it gives you absurdly fast wireless backhaul speeds. There is no mesh system that I've tested that has been Wi-Fi 6E and below that has passed um, gigabit, at least on wireless backhaul. Um, so I haven't tried an internet speed test that way. It, it, I, I'm pretty sure some of them have passed gigabit, but no one reaches these absurdly fast, like, you know, five full five gigs down. Like, that's just crazy fast. Uh, and then the local speed test, it's like, if I'm no longer relying on the server, I can go way faster. And this is why I do most of my... Um, uh, reviews that I do, I do local speed tests because I'm like, sometimes the server is busy, sometimes the server can't handle those full speeds. So this is why I really like uh, using the local speed test server and I use open speed test. It is free uh, to use. You could donate to them if you like the software. I, I personally have donated in the past. Um, so fantastic software, very easy to use. And I've done a separate video on how to set this whole thing up uh, if you're interested in doing those types of speed tests. But with that, uh, subscribe. I'm going to do a full-on review where I do the speed test, range test, um, talk about the app, show you guys everything, give you guys my opinion. But you guys already know this thing is amazing. So with that, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.